Sanders into the end zone and traffic picked off one handed by Merrick. Hey, yo, you make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that bell notification button. That way you get these videos as they come out. All right, let's go. What's going on? We got Trayvon Merrick out of TCU. Now, this guy right here can play some ball, man. He's the Jim Thorpe Award winner for 2020. That means the top defensive back. And look, he's a two-time first-teamer in the Big 12 for defense. Now, I know what y'all saying. The Big 12 don't really play defense, but you know what? Sometimes you got some gems, and I believe he's one of them. He's a very instinctual football player, and like the picture shows, man, my man wants all the smoke, and the film will show it. So let's get to it. Now, when I first saw this play right here, I did not think it was special. But what I realized, once I realized what responsibilities and who had what, this was a special play, how he played this ball in the air. So they're in cover three. You're going to see the corner up top actually bail, and he might be a man up top. But you're going to see the safety, the free safety has the middle of the field. That's Washington. And you're going to see Merrick has his deep third. And so he's going to peel off, he's not going to peel off, but he's going to play the ball in the air and be in the right spot. So when Washington knocks the ball loose, he's in the right spot to make the interception. So that's a special play because his instincts of playing the ball in the air landed him the play. Having range as a safety isn't just covering things in the air. But it's being able to cover ground. Watch how much ground he covers on the screen right here. Taking the right angle and no gain. That's a special play right there, man. Good play. Speaking of range, here he's on the hash. And I think he's more of a hash safety than anything. But he has his deep half right here. Uh, the quarterback is going to try and fit this ball in the hole. But he kind of sails it up. And, you know, he's right there to make the pick. It wasn't that much of a special play. But you could just see that he had to cover his half. And he did his responsibility and carried it out. And it's plays like this as to why I see so many people fall in love with him. So he's going to come over with the motion. He's the robber. So he has that curl to flat space right here. But watch which ground he covers on the swing. He's going to come over, sit down, make a play. No gain. Actually, it's a loss. Now, like I told you guys, I think he's more of a box safety than anything. I think he has some versatility. But watch how he sticks his nose in here on this run play right here. Man, when you got a safety like this that can make plays like this right here, step up and fill. That's a plus. This right here is what I like to see out of my safety. Play recognition. Watch where he, watch what he does on this play. He's going to sniff it out from the get-go and, and get there for a loss. But here's one of his areas of weakness to me where he can get caught being reactionary instead of really diagnosing and, and, and you know being on top of route concepts where he's just a step too late. And you can see that teams take advantage of that a couple of times. So you're going to see, you saw it on the last play. Now you're going to see them run a slant right here. And he's a step too late because he doesn't necessarily recognize it. But he's there to make the tackle, but he's just a step late. He only seems to have that problem with quicker slot guys. But tight ends and running backs and stuff like that, like you're going to see on this play, he doesn't have that problem. He's going to come down. He's going to diagnose this play, get past the block, and just make a hell of a play. And here you're going to see him do an excellent job of communicating. He's going to communicate with the D-backs over there. They're man up so everybody knows what they have. And watch him. He's going to stay on the tight end here. Do an excellent job of driving on the route and, and knocking it away. Last but not least, this is my favorite play because he has center field on this. So they're showing that he's on the hash. And he has the middle. But they're going to try and run a seam up the middle. And he's actually going to diagnose it and actually break on the football and make a play. So that right there is some of the things that I really wanted to see out of him. At first when I watched tape, I didn't see it, but the more I watched, the more I fell in love with his play. And that's it, man. That's Trayvon Merrick. Um, I think that he's a first round pick. I think that he's a guy that you would really want on your team. Um, you know, right now, starting off, I think he's more of a hash box type safety, but I think that with right coaching, over the course of, you know, some years of getting the right coaching and, and being in the right system, I think he could develop some of those rangy center field um, type of characteristics that you will want from him. I think that, you know, I'm not going to say he's just like this guy, but he's tough. He's a leader. He reminds me not so much of his play, but the type of impact that he could have like Antoine Winfield Jr. Like I knew that he would have last year on the defense. And if you bring him in, he could have that type of impact on your team in the right situation, you know? 
So um, I am a big fan of him now after really breaking him down. You know, before I kind of looked at tape and I was like, man, but once I really got an opportunity to really sit and look at the responsibilities of what everybody has, you know, I really like this kid and I think that he's going to make a team, an NFL team very happy. Special shout out to Dominant Music, Gorilla ATL on YouTube. You guys make sure you go support, you know, good music coming out of there. He's been lacing me up with some, some good background music for quite some time. So I just wanted to, you know, reciprocate things and, you know, give a shout out. Also, one direct way to support the channel is to visit this cash app. So thank you guys for watching, man. Make sure you subscribe and tell your friends about me. And that's about it, man. Appreciate you guys. I'm going to bow out. Oh, but before I do, remember, I'm not an expert. I just play one on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Peace.